It's important that you create a group for your travel business, right? That's going to be a value to the people that you want to join, right? So what I find a lot of people do are the things that we're gonna talk about now, or some of the mistakes that people make when they get ready to create a group. The first mistake that people make when they create a group is they don't have a strategy around it. They simply create a group and there's really no thought process around it. They create the group, they name the group, maybe they have a description, they have some rules and they start inviting their family and friends. Right. So they haven't thought about who they want in the group. They haven't thought about what the group's purpose is, why even have the group. Right. And they just start inviting people and they start asking other people to invite people. Right. And that's not selective. Right. The groups that I have are selective. Right. I don't just have random people in here. Who who's in this group? travel professionals, <laughs> right? I don't have people who want to learn how to fly an airplane. I have people who are my ideal client in this group, right? The type of person that you want in your group, you need to define that and be selective about that, right? So that's the number one mistake that people have when they create a group is that they they just create randomly and they just start, uh, uh, they create the group and they start just inviting everybody in the group, right? It's not selective in terms of the audience. So that's the number one thing that you want to make sure that you don't do is don't make that mistake. The number two mistake that people make when they create a group is they just start throwing up all of this information. They're posting in the group, they're in the group 24 seven, and there's no scarcity about your availability and or what it is that you offer, right? So why buy from you when they don't have to? Does that make sense? Let me say that again. Why buy from you when you're going to give them all of the information that they need to go buy themselves, right? So most of the time what happens in groups is you create the group, you start inviting every unselected person, and then you spend 100% of your time in the group, right? So everything that you have to offer, people can get for free, and there's no reason to buy from you right? So that's the number two mistake is you show up too much in the group. And then the number three mistake is, is that oftentimes people don't even sell anything. They don't even offer anything, right? So you're this business owner, you, you know, or you haphazardly offer a few, or maybe you're offering too much, right? So it could be that you're offering, you have too many offers too frequently, right? That's one problem. The other problem is that you don't even have an offer and that you don't ever sell anything in the group, right? So you really aren't monetizing it. So it's either, you know, it's one extreme or the other, but there's not like a happy medium that you've created. So those three big mistakes are things that we're going to talk about avoiding.